And now at 11 o'clock, a driver is fighting for his life tonight after being pulled from a car that crashed into a canal. But that's only part of what happened today in Northwest Miami-Dade. CBS 4's Aurelia Ortega is live at Jackson Memorial tonight with the rest of this story. Aurelia? Diane, investigators say before uh, before plunging in the canal, this man was actually involved in a hit and run crash and was fleeing from the scene when he lost control of his vehicle. A vehicle pulled from a canal in northwest Miami-Dade three hours after a dramatic rescue off northwest 57th Avenue and 202nd Street. I was making a left turn down 57 and I saw a car going inside the lake. Braulio Galindo says he was on his way to dinner when he saw this blue vehicle go through the metal guardrail and into the canal. He says he and about four other Good Samaritans pulled over to save the driver. I jumped in. The guy was unconscious. We managed to get him out, give him CPR. According to Florida Highway Patrol, moments earlier, the driver of the vehicle was involved in a hit and run crash near Miramar Parkway and Northwest 57th Avenue. FHP says the driver fled southbound and somehow lost control on 202nd Street and wound up in the water. For a moment, when I saw the vehicle, you know, started going down. I just never thought I was going to be able to make it out myself. Once rescue crews arrived, divers also went in the water to make sure there was no one else in the vehicle. FHP says the driver, the sole occupant in the car, was airlifted to Ryder Trauma Center. The Good Samaritan says the man was conscious as he was being transported to the hospital. I thank God up there that he used me for something good. I was in my house the whole day. I was going to go out for dinner, and next thing I know, I'm inside a lake. Thank God I saved a life. FHP says the driver is expected to face charges once the investigation is complete, and at last check, he was listed in critical condition. Live in Miami, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News tonight. Aurelia, thanks.